Hey, what is going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video. Now, before we get into today's video, I just want to thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. We are very close to reach 300,000 subscribers. That will most likely happen today. So that's really, really amazing. And a big thank you to you guys for subscribing to the channel. And of course, if you haven't already, as most of you guys haven't, make sure you subscribe to the channel because most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed. So in today's video, I will show you guys 10 hidden features that you have on your iPhone, you probably never knew about and never used them on your iPhone. These are really, really cool. And of course, most of them are super useful as well. And we're starting with the clock app. So you go to the clock app, you set up an alarm. How do you change the volume of your alarms? You go here, you can edit it, but it doesn't have actually an option to change the volume of the alarm. Well, to change the volume of your alarms, you will need to go to settings. Go to settings, go under sounds and haptics, and this is the slider right here. This will change the volume of the ringer of your iPhone, but it also will change the volume of your alarms. You can see right there it says ringer and alerts. So based on how you have this configured, that's how loud your iPhone's alarm will be in the morning. Now you can also use the volume buttons on the side here by enabling this button here. And then of course, when you don't have any media playing on your iPhone, you can use the buttons right here to adjust the ringer volume. But of course, at the same time, you're adjusting the alarm volume as well. Let's go back to the alarms here. We have another hidden feature. Now this quick one, you can just tap right there to edit. You don't have to go to edit, but we're talking about something else here and that's the vibration. So your alarms have, of course, vibrations as well. So you go to sounds right here. And once you go ahead and just scroll all the way to the top here, you will find vibrations. You tap there and you will have here synchronized default. That's the default, of course. But you can also go ahead and choose different vibrations here. And it will, of course, give you a preview of the vibration. And if you want to disable the vibration, you can go ahead and just choose none. And of course, you will have the alarm with the sound, but no vibration. Of course, a lot of people hate hearing their iPhone vibrating in the morning. So if you want to do that, you can do that here. And of course, you can even create your own custom vibration, which you can apply, of course, to any of your alarms. On any PDF file that you have saved on your files app, on iOS 15, what you can do is tap the numbers right there. You can see the page numbers, and then it will show you here previews of all the pages that that PDF file contains. Now, what you can do here is just drag any one of them just like that, and you can rearrange them actually as easy as this. So you can see, move them around, place them anywhere you want. That's how easy it is to actually rearrange pages on PDF files. Do that from the files app pretty simple. Now, of course, if you tap right there on the three dots on any of the page, you can remove the page. You can, of course, scan a page and add it to the PDF file. And of course, you can insert a file there, maybe another PDF, rotate it, insert a blank page just like that. That's how easy it is to actually edit any PDF file on your files app running on iOS 15. Another really, really cool thing that you can do with the PDF files on iOS 15 is that when you open a PDF file, you can actually tap right there and you can search for words within that PDF file. So if I search for iPhone right here, you can see it will find there all the words that match. And of course, you can go ahead and use those arrows to actually move around and find the words that you want to find easily any word you want on any PDF file with the files app on iOS 15. Moving on to a hidden feature on Safari. This is super useful and very, very convenient. Let's say I want to bookmark this. If I just go ahead, tap right there, it shows me the share sheet. And then I can go ahead and find bookmark here and bookmark this page. And if I tap right there, you can see on that little book icon, you can see it will show me to the book, the bookmarks, the reading list and the history as well. But what I can do to quickly bookmark this or even add it to the reading list is tap and hold that button. And you can see now I can add a bookmark of this page as easy as that. So don't tap it, tap and hold and you will get that little menu iPhones have this feature called reachability, which I'm pretty sure most of you guys already know about. So you basically swipe down here on the home bar. It will bring down the screen so you can 
easier reach with one finger all the corners of your iPhone. Now, if you don't have this enabled, you can enable it by going to settings, go under accessibility right here, go to touch, you will have here reachability. Now, what I want to talk about is not bringing down the screen, but actually moving it up. Because if you bring down the screen, then you will have to touch right there, or you will have to tap that arrow to bring up the screen back again. And you will probably not be able to do that with one finger. Now, the way it works is if you swipe like this, you can also swipe up and bring up the screen. So swipe down to bring it down, swipe up to bring up the screen again iPhones now have this newer feature called background sounds. They basically let you play sounds in the background like rain or ocean and stuff like that. Ba basically helping you relax maybe when listening to music or reading something and stuff like that. Now the way to turn that on pretty complicated. You will have to go to settings, go under accessibility right here, find audio and visuals, go to background sounds and then turn them on. Or you can do that the easy way, the way I do it, right here, triple press, triple press again to turn them off. The way to do that, pretty simple as well. You will have to set this up only the first time and then all you have to do is just triple press or right there on the side button. So go to settings, go under accessibility, scroll down here to to actually accessibility shortcut and make sure you choose background sounds right here. Now this has been added lately to iOS. You might not know that this is here as well. So you can use this with the accessibility shortcut. And then of course, all you have to do is th press three times here to turn on background sounds and you're good to go. As easy as that, turn them on and of course, turn them off as well. Moving on to voice memos. If you use the voice memos to record, voice recordings with your iPhone, then you will have to know this. So here I have one, I can go ahead and of course, tap edit right here, edit recording. And what you can do right here, you can of course, crop the recording. But what you can do is also choose any part of the recording that you want to actually delete, and you can remove that from the recording. So I can just go ahead and select like any part I want right here. So if I want to remove this part, I can go ahead and tap delete. So as easy as that, I can delete any part that I want on the recording or right here. That's really, really cool. Or what I can do when I go to the edit mode here is another feature called replace. So I have the recording here. Let's say from this point on, I want to replace this recording so I can go ahead and tap replace. It will start recording over that. So it will continue from there and record over that. That's super, super useful. And of course, you must know if you use the voice recorder on your iPhone. Another voice recording trick, head on to the settings app and from the settings here, go to control center and you will be able to add voice memos. If you have these on your control center, it will be super useful to start a new recording and find and play your recordings. You 3D touch there and you can go ahead and tap on new record. It will start recording right away. That's super simple to do. And of course, you can go ahead and again, 3D touch. It will show you a list of all, your, of all of your recordings. And you can just tap on one of them and start them, start playing them right away on the voice memo app. And last but not least, we're moving to the photos app. Now, this is a super useful feature, which I'm pretty sure most of you guys don't actually know about. So you go to any of your albums, you can even do this on the camera roll and tap right there on the three dots. Tap right here on filter and this will allow you to filter what you have on that album or even on the camera roll of your device. I can tap on edit it right there. It will show me only the photos that have been edited. It will filter out the other ones. And you can see you have the filter now there. I can go ahead and choose videos if I want to remove other stuff and just show videos, no results. So basically there are no videos on this album. You can also choose of course two or more filters. I can go with favorites and it will show me only the photos that I have on this album that I have actually favored it. Super, super useful feature. It will make it very easy for you to find the photos and videos that you want. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. And again, thank you for subscribing. We will hit 300,000 subscribers today. So that's really amazing. Again, thank you guys. If you, and if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.